Right, my next video of the boat sh um, showing a bit of progress from the last one. Um, I think last time I showed the floors in. Um, I've been now installing stuff back in the boat after cleaning and tidying it up. I've painted the bilges, painted the floor. I've left the I left the um, wooden floor as because um, I thought it looked nice. Well, it doesn't look quite so nice now, but. Um, I left that, I thought most people might have painted that, but I'm going to leave it because I think it looks quite pleasant. Um, I've refurbished, everything you see here has been refurbished. That battery tray is new, it's all held together with new stainless steel fasteners and screws and nylon nuts. The tank has been clean, taken out, cleaned up, I've taken the sender out, checked that it's working properly because there was some doubt about that, clean it up resealed it back in um, the filter assembly I've cleaned that up put it back on the pump I've tested it it's not wired in yet um, the, the uh, I've put new the fixings back on there with new stainless steel screws I've rebuilt this because it was cracked along the bottom so I've um, put some glass fiber on it it was good enough so I painted it and now put the pump and stuff back on and the to uh, solenoids and wired them up. I've added a fuse here. There wasn't a fuse before. That's a 200, uh, no, 100 amp fuse. Um, I think the standard one, the Mercury one, is 110 amp, but it's probably a lot of money. I didn't bother to find out. You know, they're not that easily available. So I just put this um, commonly available type of, if I can get the bloody thing off. It's um, a commonly available auto type fuse, which that side will go to the battery. Anyway, so I've got, I haven't fixed the tank in yet and I'm gonna get some rubber strips for the bottom so it doesn't slide about. Um, everything, everything that you see has been cleaned up or cleaned up and painted and tested. So it's not just, you know, giving a quick wash and put back in, but anyway, um, so that's where we are. I haven't fixed in the battery tray or the hydraulic Thing. I'd like to keep that so it can be removed if needs be. Um, I should try fixing it with some stainless steel screws into the floor. If that doesn't look like it's going to be enough, then I'll add some. I'll fix it down with a, a resin, um, resin glue. And the same with the battery tray. But uh, you know, if you change the size of the battery at any point, you'd like to put a different size tray in or whatever. You know, keep the keep it open so it can be flexible. Um, the next stage will be to redo the dash and wire it up, put the, rewire the steering wheel, put that back on um, and then run the cable, which I'm not taking through the floor now, I'm taking it through the, through the side bit and doing that to try and keep it a bit more sorted, a bit more safe and dry and then it will just be a question of sorting out the controls and the engine and then away we go so um, quite a lot of progress since the last one doesn't look like it but there has because a lot of work has gone into these other bits and pieces and as I said completely rewiring everything before all new fasteners everything's stainless steel everything's going to be uh, cleaned up and refurbished so that I know that it works properly and if it doesn't it's going to be changed so there we are. Anyway, next video along, I hope to show it near completion. Um, I'm not going to put the carpets in until I've done all this work because I don't want to be walking on the carpets. But uh, when we get to that stage where everything else has been done, the carpets will be going in and the floor throttle and everything else. So that will be the next one. And I'm looking forward to that.